Okay, hi, this is John. All right, today I'm going to talk about health or maybe problems with your health and medicine, some things that you can use to, um, you know, feel better. Okay, we're going to start off with this is uh, an illustration of no one in particular. So anyone of my family out there, this has, this is not reflective of you. Um, okay, so I'm going to start from the top with maybe problems you have and then work my way down. Okay, so beginning with uh, sometimes when you, uh, when you drink too much, you, you, you feel uh, very bad the next day and you often get a headache, a headache. Sometimes it's like right here, sometimes it's on like the top of your head, sometimes it's in the back of your head. Anyway, so that's a headache. I have a headache. You can also say if someone's, if someone's like, if someone's bothering you, you're like, oh, you're giving me a headache. Stop it. Okay, so that's headache. Um, the other thing, um, is, Maybe if you're, you're feeling, you're quite sick and you feel, um, like, uh, not very stable, you might say, I feel faint or dizzy. And, and you kind of feel it right here. Okay. So faint, faint or dizzy. And, and that's just more of a feeling. Um, okay, sometimes, sometimes when you're sick, you feel it, you feel it in the, in the ears. So you have an earache. I have an earache. Okay. Um, and when you're, when you have a cold, like that's kind of the whole sort of feeling of, you know, like having a cold, maybe you're, you're sneezing. <laughs> Sneezing, you sneeze from here. But, but when you're, when you feel very full, full, like some, usually you're feeling full here in your stomach after you eat, but sometimes you can feel full here. And we sometimes say, I feel congested. It's like full right there. Congested, congested in there, in there. Okay, um, and and this is something actually not when you're like not when you're sick, but when you have a problem with your tooth, like that. There's like there's a hole, so so we call that a cavity. Okay. Um, the uh, here's another thing. Um, oh. Yeah, when, when you're, when you're very, very hot, when you're very hot and your temperature, uh, in, in your body is too much, they, then you have maybe a fever. Um, and let's say that, uh, this is now more on the outside. Um, you're chopping vegetables and you cut yourself so you start to bleed. You, you, you cut yourself by, by accident, not on purpose. So that's to bleed. Or you can say like the action, I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding. And, and the noun, that red stuff is called blood, of course. Sometimes when you're like, you're walking or whatever, and uh, you know, you kind of you turn oh and you hit yourself and then later on you get this sort of mark here and that's like a bruise
But a bruise you could get here or you could get here. It could be anywhere. Um, and let's see. Oh, uh, sometimes you're eating food. This happens to me if I eat too much popcorn. Um, I, I, I get bloated. Like, like a balloon. Uh, I get bloated. And that's right here. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, this happens actually just to women. Um, is, uh, every, every month they have what they call is their period or menstrual cycle. Um, and, uh, there's a very, there's, they have a lot of pain and like in, in this area, I think I, I'm not a woman, so I don't exactly know, but those are called cramps. I'm just going to write it like around here. Okay. Um, so, uh, incidentally, besides popcorn, sometimes lentils lentils make me bloated too. Uh, I'll, dr I'll I'll write lentils. It's a kind of it's a kind of food. Um, okay. Uh, let's see what else. You have, um, what else is there? You have a headache, earache, sneezing, cavity. Oh, uh, here, when you, uh, sometimes when you have a cold, you <coughs> cough. So that's, the spelling's really kind of strange, but the pronunciation on that, cough. Cough. All right. Um, and oh, uh, sometimes if I drink, uh, if I drink like pop uh, too quickly or something, I get these hiccups. Hiccups. That's like uh, when you're like, <coughs> those are hiccups. Um, also, what happens uh, sometimes, maybe if you drink uh, uh, pop too quickly or something, you, you burp. <coughs> That's to burp. My, my wife hates when I do that. Is she actually, if there's a difference between like farting and burping, she'd prefer that I fart than burp. Yeah, it's very strange. Oh, and since I mentioned it, uh, farting, okay, I, I've done this before, but, um, <coughs> oh, sorry, that's to fart, to fart. Okay, um, let's see, oh, uh, so when you, um, when you eat certain foods, um, and I don't know why, but sometimes you get uh, diarrhea. Diarrhea? Um, uh, so that's probably one of the most difficult words to spell. I actually hope I spelled it correctly. Um, so diarrhea is when you have to go to the toilet, you have to go many times. Uh, so it's like, you know, you go to the toilet and it's like, it's like you're, well, it, 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 it's like water, uh, out the butt, the bum. Um, and, uh, so that's, that's, that's kind of it. Um, but like just going through like a couple things, like what do you do when like, you say to your friend, oh, I have a headache. I have a headache. So what, what suggestions, like what would you suggest if they have a headache? I mean, personally, I take a Tylenol or aspirin. So if my friend, they have a headache, I just say, here, take a Tylenol. Um, if you've got the hiccups, like, <laughs> so some people say that you should like take a bag and breathe in. 
that sometimes they say that that can help. Also, uh, apparently drinking water upside down, that uh, that can also help. Um, when you uh, when you have an earache, I don't know. Um, maybe you should go to the doctor. Um, a cavity, for sure, you need to go to the dentist. Uh, cough, I don't know. Sometimes just like having a sweet, something like a candy or a cough drop or cough syrup. Um, let's see. Uh, if you're bleeding, then maybe you can put a Band-Aid on. That's like this. Band-Aid. You just wrap it around. Um, diarrhea. Uh, I would just recommend, you know, you drink water. And uh, don't go out very much. Definitely don't go traveling. Um, but you could take like, um, I don't know, like Pepto-Bismol or like some people have ammonia, I think. Um, oh, I, I for, almost forgot. So the opposite of uh, diarrhea when you're like, you're going too much is constipation. constipation that's the opposite so that's when you can't go you try you want to but you can't um, and there are places they, they can like there's things on the web you can find out information about that um, uh, I think that's I think that's about it so um, that's just a quick lesson on health and some medicine so if you're interested you want to see more fantastic videos just like this one go to www.ingvid.com.